Hi, is it Lucy Brown? Yes. Hi, I'm Nick. I'm one of the driving education managers here. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Uh, yeah. I'll be taking you out for the driving assessment today. If you get all your stuff, we've checked your licence. So let's go and do your highway code paper. Okay, thank Can you. Can you follow me? We're just going to do your eyesight test now, just before we go out driving. If you just take a stand there for me on the line, and if you could just read the registration plate of the vehicle that's in front of you. Uh, HX65UZA. That's brilliant. Let's go and see your highway code paper. So Lucy, we're going to now see your highway code paper. This is made up of 10 multiple choice questions. Five are based on the current highway code, and five are based on UK road signs. You can have five minutes to answer the paper. Okay. To answer the questions, if you read the question clearly, some are a little bit tricky, so make sure you read the question, and then circle the correct answer. If you change your mind, you can cross through the circle and select another answer, Okay, just so I know what the answers are. Five minutes will be allowed when you're ready. If you just print and sign your name there on today's date, and then we'll start from there. Thank you. Okay, Lucy, I'm just going to explain what's going to be expected of you at the practical driving assessment. So the assessment's going to last for approximately 25 to 35 minutes in length. During that time, I'd like you to consider the size of the vehicle being used. So the vehicle's nearly 23 foot long, so think about the mirrors, especially use of the bottom mirrors in regards to left and right turns. Think about where you're stopping, and in regards to junctions, think about where the back of the vehicle is going to be stopping as well. Consider the use of the vehicle for patient comfort, so nice smooth use of the controls, nice and gentle on your acceleration and gentle on your braking. Now I'm aware you're probably not familiar with a vehicle like this or not driven this vehicle before, so give yourself a little extra time just to settle into the controls and settle into your drive. The directions will be given by myself and they'll only be repeated on rare occasions where it's misunderstood or genuinely not heard. Further questions relating to the highway code or road signs may be asked during your drive. Now a reversing exercise must be included in this assessment and you must maintain good use of your controls and demonstrate good spatial awareness and satisfactory stopping distances. Should you touch a curb during your drive, you'll be advised to be aware, made aware of the vehicle dimensions and that's one minor fault, okay? However, if you mount a curb, uh, that would be obviously a serious or dangerous fault as it would be on your driving test. Speed limits relevant to the category of vehicle must be adhered to. So this vehicle is a dual purpose vehicle over two tonnes in weight and therefore on a single carriageway national speed limit it would be 50 miles an hour. In a dual carriageway it would be 60 miles an hour and on a motor it would be 70. All other speed limits must be adhered to. Now if you go over the speed limit by up to 10%, so up to 33 and a 30, I'll give you a warning to be aware of your speed. If you then exceed that speed limit again, that would be a serious or a dangerous fault. Likewise, if you went over the 10% allowance, so over 33 and a 30, that would also be a serious or dangerous fault. Otherwise, a maximum of three minor faults in any other box to be recorded. One would be a fault, two would be a habitual fault but you're trying to rectify it, or three would be a consistent fault without trying to rectify it. And at the conclusion of the assessment, I'll inform you whether you've been successful or not. And if you've not been successful, I'll explain why and give you a full debrief. Now I'm going to show you the paperwork that we're going to use for your assessment. So, going on to the test, I'm going to be assessing you on the range of boxes here and it's going to be done on a DSA type test standard where you can either get minors or a serious or dangerous fault. We've talked about where potentially the serious or dangerous faults could occur but also things like pulling out on a roundabout and causing another vehicle to change speed or direction could also be classed as a serious or dangerous fault. Otherwise you can get a maximum of 10 minors across the board here. Uh, 11 minors would be uh, mean you'd be unsuccessful in today's assessment. Okay Lucy, now I'm just going to run you through these vehicles controls, where the indicators are, where the lights and the wipers are, should you require them during the drive. Okay Lucy, if you're happy with everything, if we get the vehicle started and then we'll make our way on the assessment.
if you could just make sure the handbrake's on the vehicle is in neutral for me, please. Brilliant, superb. And you can switch the engine off and take your seatbelt off and just relax now. Superb, so I'm pleased to tell you you've passed your assessment today. Uh, we're just going to go for a debrief of your drive and just point out any areas that we can work on. Thank you. After you, Lucy. So Lucy, if you just take your seat here, someone from the will be able to see you shortly. Thank you very Congratulations much. Congratulations and good luck on the next stage. Thank you. Thank you for watching this short presentation and hopefully you found it useful, especially around the areas of size perception of the vehicles that you're expected to drive on your assessment, as well as your build for knowledge around the highway code. Thank you very much. See you soon.